uh, study in Mexico. So basically, the reason why Anicon is um, sharing new destination for our Filipino students, um, it is for us or for the students to have options despite of the challenges uh, with other countries right now. So we can now uh, open ourselves for our, uh, the new opportunities, of course, uh, to study in other countries. Uh, maybe not uh, popular right now in the Philippines, but uh, when after this webinar, uh, you will know the uh, opportunities, uh, of course, of studying in um, Mexico, specifically with Universidad uh, Anua, uh, Cancun. Did I pronounce it correctly, uh, uh, Christian? Hopefully I did. <laughs> You did, Lonel. That's right. It's Anahuac, Cancun. Perfect. All right. Anahuac, Cancun. All right. And uh, guys, we have a special guest uh, straight from Mexico, uh, Mr. Christian. Um, later, uh, he will also share a presentation and give us reasons why we should uh, study or be uh, get this opportunity in studying in Mexico. But right now, I'll be... Uh, presenting our company profile. So most of you are sending inquiries, um, asking uh, student, path, uh, student pathway, and uh, but you really uh, don't have an idea what services we uh, or Anicon offers. So right now, let me start uh, with my presentation. So here's our company profile. Um, Anicon Tourism Consultancy is our company name. But before that, um, I'm sorry, let me just hold on. All right, before Anicon uh, became uh, Anicon Tourism Consultancy, this is our uh, history or story. Uh, we started 2012 as Turista Support Services, okay, uh, providing support to international students who wants to uh, study in the Philippines. But uh, since uh, the market uh, change, most of the Filipinos are interested in studying outside the Philippines. So Anicon uh, changed the uh, focus we still support international students who want uh, who are interested in studying here in the Philippines. But right now, we are uh, receiving a uh, huge number of Filipino students who are also interested in studying outside the Philippines. So 2018, uh, ATC is acquired and managed by J Mission. But right now, 2024, uh, we now became um, Anicon Tourism Consultancy. Incorporate, uh, incorporated, but you can just uh, call us Anicon. And as I mentioned earlier, you might be confused what are the services that we are offering. Uh, we do um, help students who are interested studying um, outside the Philippines, not just in one country. So we do have a lot of partner universities and schools uh, in Europe, um, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and in Asia. And right now, we are giving you this uh, best opportunity uh, to study as well in Mexico. And as you can see, uh, this uh, letter A, it is just not the first uh, letter of the company. It is also, uh, you can see also an arrow. It means build a better future or a progression to our students. Why? Because um, our focus is not just to send students uh, internationally, but also for them to have a better future, uh, to achieve their goal as well, not just for uh, their own uh, dreams, but also for their uh, families. And um, as I mentioned, Anicon will, also, will be now known as Anicon moving forward. Uh, the services that we offer, we all have short and long term, which um, UAC also have the short course program uh, that uh, Sir uh, Christian will also give details, a little bit uh, information later. And uh, study abroad planning, uh, internship, and cultural immersion, work and travel. So these are actually the main focus of our uh, services. So for those graduating students, 
uh, fresh graduate students or who graduated within five years ago or at least, uh, uh, what do you call this, have a related um, experience, we can give them an internship or work and travel. But for those who are interested in studying, uh, taking diploma, master's degree, and bachelor's degree, uh, we are also, uh, that's our actually our, our main focus uh, for the students to uh, continue their studies. And documentation, of course, uh, one of the most important uh, we uh, provide to our students because um, of course, we cannot proceed with our application without uh, getting your documents, knowing your background and uh, experiences, as well as the qualifications. School selection, as we've mentioned, we have a lot of partner schools, colleges and universities outside the Philippines. So we need to make sure that you are fit uh, with a program of the university or the school so that you'll be able to, uh, before we uh, endorse you with the application to that specific school. Visa, visa application as well, we do support students uh, to uh, complete their requirements, check the requirements, including the letter of, uh, I'm sorry, letter, uh, financial summary, letter, um, study of purpose, and other documents. Pathway creation, so we need to make sure that your background, your studies are aligned, of course, with your goal before we proceed with your application. And yeah, we do have three Facebook uh, page, uh, including the uh, orange, the blue, and the red one. So if you saw this um, uh, poster or this uh, webinar, and the red one because it is uh, included on our uh, cancer brand, but you might be in, uh, also, or some of your relatives are also interested in studying outside Canada, New Zealand, Australia. So why not try Mexico and other countries like in Europe and in Asia? Um, only company in the Philippines that focuses on the following countries, South Korea, Italy, Bulgaria, and now Mexico. And only company in the Philippines that offers the following short terms, uh, short term programs. So we also have uh, Bulgaria and Korea. Uh, we are proud to say that we are the first, and we are the only one who's currently sending students for uh, those who are interested in taking internships as well as uh, work travel or continuing education. Legalities: If you are, uh, if you want to make sure that the company or Anicon itself is providing the our service uh, legally. So you can just contact um, SEC or you just need to uh, save this uh, registration number and then check this on their website or contact them to verify if Anicon is uh, legally uh, operating here in the Philippines. And of course, our statements. And uh, I mean, this is our vision and mission. Of course, to elevate Filipinos to a higher competency via global studies. And our mission is to offer global study opportunities to each and every Filipino, Filipino through an efficient and honest consultancy. Core values. Um, every time that I'm presenting our core values, I always uh, tell it to our students that the most important is the result so if you're if you're happy with the service that we provided it means that we're able to provide all the services that you are expecting from our team okay uh, also it will help us to uh, uh what they call this get a free promotion because if you're satisfied definitely if you're no outside the philippines you uh, will automatically uh refer Anicon. So it is one of the uh, uh, most important that we should always uh, provide to our uh, clients and uh, future students is the uh, result or the happiness. Our services is student assessment, uh, school profiling, documentation, pathway alignment, visa processing, destination development. Um, actually, in uh, Mexico, uh, as I mentioned, this is going to be a uh, uh, um, who are interested in studying in Mexico because 
they can uh, give you gu uh, guarantee when it comes to uh, visa processing. Um, they will. Uh, they can give you uh, an assistance um, getting an approval with your student visa. Uh, if you, you will be proceeding with your uh, study in Mexico. And of course, our unique selling points, uh, most of the students who are actually sending inquiries, they are always surprised because we do offer the cheaper or the cheapest uh, uh, package. Uh, we do offer free to pay. So it really depends on the service that you will get from the Anicon team. Uh, if you just need to receive or to send an application with the help of Anicon through uh, the school that you prefer to, to study, uh, we can definitely we can definitely help you with that, and you're not going to pay for anything. But if you want to get the full service, including the checking of your documents as well as with your visa processing and application, uh, the minimum amount actually this is no longer updated. Uh, but the the minimum or the the the, the charge is thirty five thousand. And of course, we are also providing some uh, discounts uh, as well as opportunities for scholarships, okay? Uh, like for example, we have a partnership with uh, UAC. So definitely later, uh, Christian will discuss what Anicon uh, or how can, Anicon can help you with your application uh, by getting the uh, uh, tuition fee scholarships. All right, and simplified process. So we create package that is simplifies all possible need of the client. So basically guys, our uh, process is uh, we need like a teamwork, okay? Of course, we are the one who's going to uh, submit your application, but all the requirements will be coming from you guys. So we need your um, cooperation as well. Uh, for any additional requirements, you should be uh, open on uh, providing those requirements, uh, especially if it's going to help you uh, with your application, with the school, or at, with your visa uh, application. And uh, we're almost finished without my presentation. So if you want to check out our Facebook pages, just check this. The last one, Anicon Study Abroad, we do have uh, the latest pa page with Kanza. Uh, so just search Anicon Study Abroad. These are still uh, these pages. So you can see testimonies, um, approvals, um, videos. Videos, students, both uh, all of the pages, the uh, Europe, Asia, and Kansa. You may also visit our uh, TikTok. Uh, you can see that we are also uh, helping, or I mean, we are also uh, sending students uh, up until the airport before their departure to their uh, 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 dream uh, country. And as well as in uh, YouTube, we all, you can also some testimonies on our uh, YouTube page. Our website, uh, you can also visit our website. And if you receive emails from this um, email address, or uh, it means that uh, it is a legit email from Anacon team. All right, that's it. Thank you very much uh, for listening to my presentation. Um, we will now proceed with the exciting part, which is uh, studying in uh, Mexico. Christian will help us uh, give more um, information and the opportunities. Uh, why should we study in Mexico? So I'll give you now the uh, floor, uh, Christian, for our students. Thank you. Perfect, Lonel. Thank you so much. Uh, I am very happy because I also learned uh, a lot about Anicon and how can it help international students to find a good pathway and to find the best opportunity to for, for the university. I would like to start by my presentation. Um, I'm just going to, going to share my screen right now. Uh, Please let me know if you can see it. Uh, I think you can, right? Okay. So um, I would like to start by our name. We are named Anahuac Cancun. Anahuac is a 
a word in one of our native languages, which means built above water. Uh, I don't know how many of you know, but Mexico City, the capital of Mexico, was built just as Venice in Italy. It was built above a, a huge lake, and that's where the the one of the first civilizations of our country was started to build the, the, their biggest city. And we are an international campus. Why? We have in our campus around 40 nationalities. Uh, most of them are from Latin America and around 25% of our university population, it's international. There are students from Europe, there are students from Latin America, there are students from Africa, and there are also some students from Asia. Uh, we only have had two Filipino students, only two have applied, and the two of them have were accepted to university. They are already graduated from our programs. They studied international hotel management, and uh, they finished their degree and they they go they got back to their country. We are part of a big network of universities um, spread around the world. Uh, there are universities in Mexico, Spain, Italy, Chile, and the U.S. In Mexico, we have nine different campuses. Every one of each of them is is very different, and they're very very particular. For example, in the center of Mexico, like in Puebla, Querétaro, Mexico City, we have big financial companies, uh, big enterprises uh, uh, in the financial sector. In the north, with Tampico or Veracruz, uh, which are um, strategic positions for international business. Uh, that it's very, very good to study if you want to study international business, trade, uh, logistics, etc. For the case of Cancun, uh, we're different from the other ones because we're the international campus. We're the only campus in Mexico uh, from the Anahuac Network who has uh, undergraduate programs 100% in English. And uh, each of our programs has a dual degree. What is a dual degree? A dual degree means that you get your degree from Mexico and also by another institution. Let's say, for example, if you want to study business, you're able to get a double degree from Managua, Cancun in Mexico and from Coventry University in the UK without needing to go to the, to the university. Of course, you can do it if you want to. You can go in a summer or for a semester abroad and later come back to Cancun. But uh, uh, we... Uh, we allow the students to have this chance. I don't know. I think that for most of you, Mexico is a very new destination. Uh, I would like to to talk about a little of our country. We are uh, a big country. Uh, we're the number 14 uh, biggest country in the world, around 2 million square kilometers. We are just in the border of the U.S. and in the border of uh, to Central America. We have access to the Pacific Ocean in the in the West, and to the uh, Atlantic Ocean in the east. And uh, yeah, this is a, a little of our destination. We're Cancun. We are uh, very close to Miami and very close to Cuba, around an hour and a half to both destinations. And we are uh, in the top 2% uh, of the best universities in the world, according to world university rankings. To talk about our destination, I know uh, you have amazing beaches in the Philippines. I have heard about Mactan, uh, Pangalo, very, very amazing destinations. Um, this is uh, what we are. We are a very modern city. We were founded around 50, 15 years, 50 years ago in the idea to create a touristic destination for Mexicans and for international people. We have amazing uh, destinations in our region, like Isla Mujeres, Cozumel, Tulum, which are very famous because of convention centers, uh, concerts, theme parks, big hotels, famous restaurants, etc. We are the number one destination. We are the number one touristic destination in Latin America, receiving more than well. Here it says twenty five million uh, visitors per year, but last year we received. 30 million uh, passengers in our airport, uh, which is very well connected. We have more than 90 flights to 90 direct flights to cities all over the world. We have Isla Mujeres very close from, from where we are, which is a very 
famous destination for scuba diving. We have Cozumel, which is the number one uh, cruise uh, destination here in Latin America. We have uh, very nice theme parks like uh, Nickelodeon theme park here in, in our region, big uh, hotel, uh, hotel companies, lots of enterprises. And uh, this is a little of what the university is. I don't know if you have heard about Bimbo. Uh, Bimbo is a big company, one of the biggest bakeries in the world. As far as I know, it's the biggest. Uh, I don't know if you have heard about Cemex, which is one of the biggest building companies in the world. Maybe Gruma, which is a food company. Or Kitsania. As far as I know, Kitsania is a, has a park in Manila. Kitsania is a very uh, famous theme park here in Mexico with different um, different uh, locations all over the world in more than 15 countries. Uh, and actually, uh, the director of Kitsania, uh, a, a local brand, was a graduated from a university here in Mexico. One of the main uh, values we, we share from our uh, university is leadership. Uh, because we are not, you're not only called to be a professional with top, 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 top academic qualities, but also a leader that creates an impact on society. Uh, this is, this is our campus. This is, uh, the comprehensive formation we want to share, including a professional area, an interdisciplinary area, and the Anahuac, uh, the Anahuac block. Here are some pictures of our campus, our activities. Here in our campus, we have access to more to lots of options to study abroad. We have very good a very good exchange program. I can tell you from my experience. I was an international business student here in, in Cancun, and I had the opportunity to go for a semester abroad, and I went to Rome, to Italy. We have Anahuac Mobility, which, which allows students to uh, go from Anahuac Cancun to other universities from the Anahuac Network here in our country or abroad also. If you want, you can go to Mérida, Querétaro, Mexico City to make this a uh, complete Mexican experience, not only focusing on Cancun, but going beyond, going to a different uh, area according to what you want. We have lots of activities in our campus. We have a sports program. We have uh, leadership programs, which are diplomats uh, focused on specific areas of what the student wants to study. There's a leadership program in enterprise. There's a leadership program in health, in communication, in, huma in humanities, etc. Our academic offer, uh, we have 43 programs in our campus. Uh, 35 of them are bilingual. 36 of them are bilingual. This means uh, they're talking Spanish and English. And the other seven are talked 100% in English. Which one are these which ones are these programs? We have intern we have uh for the case of business, we have international business, strategic marketing, and strategic business management. These three programs uh allow the student to get a dual degree from Anagua Cancun and also from Coventry University in the UK. For the case of the health division, we have medicine and surgery, uh, where the student can get a USMLE accreditation. What a USMLE accreditation is, it is an exam you perform uh, that allows you to, to, to become a doctor, not only in Mexico, but also to perform as a doctor in the United States. And this exam is valid uh, in lots of countries um, and helps you to validate your studies here in Mexico uh, back to your, back in your country. For the case of hospitality, which is very prestigious here in Cancun since we're a touristic destination, we have a gastronomy and international hotel management. Both of these programs have a dual degree from Anago Cancun and Le Cordon Bleu Academy, which is uh, this very prestigious uh, French academy with uh, worldwide quality standards for hospitality area. And we also have entertainment business management which is very interesting since uh, here in Cancun, uh, there are lots of events going on. 
This is the career that helps, helps you to organize this. This helps to organize sports events, concerts, uh, conventions, etc. For the academic offer, uh, the, pro the prices of the program per year go from 10,000 US dollars per year to uh, 14,000 US dollars. This, this is depending on the program. Um, before, Mr. London was talking about scholarships. Uh, through, through the agreement we have with Anicon, we allow all the students from that come from Anicon to have a 50% scholarship during the 70% of their course. This means that during the 70% of your advance in your program, you will only pay half of your tuition fee and half of the registration fee that is covered every semester. Here you can see some of our programs. Some of them are in Spanish, other ones are in English. Here we can find entertainment business management uh, for the case of the ones in English. Um, here we can find in the health division, medicine and surgery. For the case of uh, engineering, all of our programs are in Spanish, well, are bilingual. In Le Cordon Bleu, we have international business, uh, international quality management and gastronomy, 100% in English. All the admission process for our for our degrees is done totally in English. Uh, you can do it through Dream Apply. You will only need to submit some basic documents and fill an app form. Which documents would you have to to fill? You will have to fill to to upload a photo of you, a transcript of records of high school, and a birth certificate. That's it. And the admission process usually takes between two to three weeks. This is depending on how fast you upload your documents. And yeah, and, and and this is how you will receive the resolution regarding your application. For the case of business, as I told you, we have international business, strategic business management, and strategic marketing. Apart from uh, the academic offer we, we have, we also have a sports program, we have leadership programs, we have an exchange program in the case student wants to go abroad. We have a language school if you want to learn Spanish, maybe, or French, Italian. Um, we also have that in our university. We have accommodation in campus. If you want to, to stay on campus, uh, you have the option. Everything is included. Uh, meals. Uh, well, you won't need transportation since it's in, in, in campus. Uh, but everything is included in accommodation in campus. And that's it. Uh, we also have an International Student Support Center, which uh, helps you feel, of course, supported by the international community. And uh, they're, they're, they're great. They organize uh, parties, they organize events, they organize dinner between uh, international students, they organize uh, visits to theme parks, to Chichen Itza, which is one of the seven wonders of the world, we have, which we have it very close from here to, to Cancun. And uh, the International Student Support Center works as a counselor here in Cancun, helping you to find housing, uh, helping through the migration process, helping you with the documentation you need, uh, going back to your country or coming to Mexico, help you tra find transportation. We have uh, a trans transportation from the university, which is named Ruta Nahuac, a Nahuac route, uh, which, uh, which uh, helps you to, to move throughout the city to strategical uh, parts where you can find uh, easy transportation to, to your houses. Uh, we have a program for mentoring. The students can have um, psychological uh, assistance if needed. And they also can assist you in any financial situation you may have, like getting a scholarship, participating for uh, a credit, etc. Here in Anahuac Cancun, you can apply for an academic scholarship, a sports scholarship, or a nurse scholarship. If you like to sing, if you like to act, you can apply. To get a, an academic scholarship, there's something very important. There's a requirement of minimum 8.5 8 in your GPA, 8.5 out of, out of 10, uh, to participate for an academic scholarship. What comes next? Your application. You can start your, your admission process through Anicon, um, Anicon Services, which will guide you 
uh, through all the process for getting a visa, uh, choosing your program, and helping you uh, to participate for a scholarship if you want to. Here are the documents you will be need, need, needing to, to apply through our platform, which are, as I told you, a photo of you, a birth certificate, a GPA, uh, a, a picture of your GPA, and you will also have to fill up a basic up form of personal information. You can present your exams with us. You will only need to present an academic exam, which is actually uh, really easy. We can facilitate a study guide for you to be prepared for it. Um, you will have to uh, perform a personality test, which will help us to know you better, and an interview with the coordinator of, your, of the program you're applying to. You can find our social networks right here if you want to know about more, more about us. And uh, I will allow uh, Lonel or any of you who wants to make a question, I will gladly help you uh, to, to answer it. All right, thank you so much, Christian. All right, so any one of you, uh, if you have questions, uh, please uh, feel free to ask questions, especially while we have Christians. Christian here, since uh, he's the best uh, person who can answer, especially if your question uh, is regarding to the uh, school. But I have a question first, Christian, uh, before we proceed with them, if they do have. Since you mentioned regarding the scholarship of uh, um, like 70% of their subjects, is that right? That's right. Uh, okay. This is this 50% scholarship scholarship applies to uh, the 70% advance of their program. Okay. And normally, since like for example, the tuition fee for them a year is around 10,000 US dollars, how uh, how much do you think will cover the scholarship? The scholarship, uh, for the case of the fifty percent, it will include uh, the fifty percent, the fifty percent of the payment from the first semester, for, say, from the beginning of their program up to the seventy percent advance, which is usually in the sixth or seventh semester of their program. Okay, uh, we have question here. How much is the admission fees? The admission fees, um. Working with Anacon, uh, you, you, there is no fee for applying to an exam. What we do um, is that we um, ask for a registration fee once the student has been admitted. We ask for a registration fee, which is around 1,000 US dollars, a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on the program. Uh, it can go from $950 to 1,020 US dollars for the registration fee. This registration fee payment is done every semester at the beginning of each semester. This means twice a year. And this price is already included on the tuition fee uh, I said. How does the payment work in Anagua Cancun? Every semester, students uh, must, do, uh, must pay a registration fee at the beginning of the semester. And during the semester, they will have to pay uh, the tuition fee which is around 4,000, uh, 3,500, 4,000 US dollars uh, during the semester. This can be done in five equal payments that will be um, that will be done during their semester around every four weeks. All right. They can pay so all beforehand or they can pay uh, the tuition fee uh, month by month. All right. So as long as they were able to pay the registration fee, uh, they can pay the rest or the remaining tuition fee every uh, four weeks. That's it. Okay. So let's we say have... the first semester. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, Lonel. For the case, uh, we have two intakes here in Anagua Cancun, one in January and one in August. The one in August is uh, the, major, uh, the major intake here, but we also have a an intake in, in January. For the case of January, uh, for the students that are applying through Anecon, we're offering a 40% discount on the registration fee for January. And for mm -hmm. August, we are um, we, we are uh, offering just for this month an 80% uh, discount on the registration fee. 
Wow. <laughs> All right. So aside from the tuition fee scholarship, uh, you will also receive uh, a registration fee discount. 40% for this intake, January, and 80% right. for uh, August intake. Um, by the way, for those uh, who attended our webinar, who's still here, as well as for those who will be able to watch this, since it's uh, recorded and we will be posting this to our social media accounts, um, we always advise our students to submit your application Um. I mean, at least seven, eight months before the intake for us to be able to have an enough time, uh, especially uh, preparation when it comes to your uh, application with the school and, of course, the visa application. Everything will be guided with the Anicon team as well as uh, Christian. Uh, the UAC will also, uh, the UAC team will also help us, especially when it comes to your acceptance letter because it will be needed uh, to present uh, for the visa application. Uh, they do have direct partnership uh, with the embassy that will also help us uh, give a uh, guarantee of getting approved with uh, the student visa. Um, also, uh, this scholarship that uh, University Universidad of Anahuac, uh, Cancun offering is only exclusive for Ana, uh, Anicon. So you need to make sure if you want to get this um, scholarship uh, with and discounts, you need to make sure to submit submit your application as early as now. Because uh, I think uh, though we um, Christian told us um, that uh, we are the ones going to decide. Who will be uh, giving given the uh, scholarship, uh, but of course we also need to prioritize those students who are really uh, interested and in, uh, start with their application. All right. Um, what else? Since uh, Christian also mentioned earlier that the semester or the tuition fee is uh, like an installment. Um, aside from that, you are also going to have an opportunity to uh what do you call this uh, most filipinos are you know uh really looking for a job opportunity how will you be able to do that um maybe i think uh, i'll let you patient explain uh, how they will be able to get a job great that's very important lonel uh mm -hmm. we, we're very proud to say that 80 percent of our students get a job offer even before graduate even before mm -hmm. graduating uh why because during our pro during their program, students are asked to, to do a practice in a local company. This helps them to connect with the with local enterprises and local companies to create a background to work with them later if they want to. If students want to work before, uh, they also have the the chance to do it through a a, a working visa. How mm -hmm. does this process uh, should be made? Students will come to Mexico with a student visa, will come to Mexico with a student visa, and to get a working visa, they will need a job a job offer. A job offer from a local company, an official uh, job offer, which includes where are they going to work, what are they going to do, and how much are they going to be paid. With this job offer, students are able to transform their work, their student visa into a working visa, and they will still have the permission of course, to study with us. All right. So basically, for those students who is actually um, uh, so, uh, basically uh, self-support, um, while studying, uh, as long as you have the job offer, including all the uh, inclusions that Christian uh, mentioned, you can work while studying. Of course, the reason why you uh, went to uh, Mexico is to study, but uh, we understand that you also need to support your uh, monthly expenses. So as long as you have a job offer, you can apply for a work visa. Having a work visa, you can do part-time or full-time job depending on your uh, schedule uh, in your uh, school. So basically, you still Something need to prioritize your studies. Something very interesting about us, Lonel, is that uh, students are in a certain way free to to choose their schedule at the university. Why? Oh, okay. because because they can create their they can adapt their study program to their needs. 
If the student mm -hmm. wants to do something particular in the evenings, they can adapt their, their schedule to have classes in the morning um, and be free at the evenings. Or the other way around, if they want to do half and half, half in the morning, half in the evening, they have mm -hmm. a certain flexibility to do this during their uh, study plan. Something I didn't mention, Lonel, is that if the students don't want to start to, to work during their during their studies, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but after graduating, they want to stay in Mexico for a while, we can extend the student visa for one extra year so that the students mm -hmm. can find a, can apply for a job here in Cancun, in Mexico. All right. And having a uh, job in Mexico after their studies, um, do they have the opportunity? Let's say I uh, graduated um, three or four years ago and I'm still in Mexico with a job. Um, do I have a uh, opportunity to apply for a permanent residency? Uh, yes, of course. They can apply for a Mexican uh, permanent residence. Uh, after five years of staying here in of being here in Mexico, they can have uh, they can being students um, they can have a temporary residence card, and mm -hmm. uh, after the fifth year, they are able to uh, ask for a permanent residence card, Mexican card. Okay, that's including the four years of studies. Four years plus one, yeah, that will be the fifth And they year. can already apply for a permanent residency. Right. All right. And for those, uh, you mentioned as well that you will have a uh, English thought, master's degree uh, in English thought possible next year. Uh, for those who are interested in studying, as because uh, we've mentioned as well that a lot of students here in the Philippines are also looking for a master's degree programs. Um, how long usually is the master's degree? um in the university the bachelor's degree here in mexico usually take four years and the master's mm -hmm. degree take between one year and a half to, to two years uh if students are also interested we also offer diplomats and certificates from our university mm -hmm. that can apply to each of the programs we have for example if student wants to have a, a, a if there's a group of students who want uh a course on, let's say, um, for example, we have nutrition in Spanish, but we we can we can create a pro a diplomat in English, for example, in sports nutrition, let's say. Okay. And How we long and we open these courses, uh, along the sem along the year, which and this these diplomats usually take one or two weeks. Just one or two weeks. Okay. All right. And yeah, I forgot the next question. Uh, regarding this uh, language course, let's say I just want to learn Spanish. Uh, do you offer as well that program and how long uh, is the program? Yes, we do offer a Spanish course. We have a one month program for Spanish. If students only want to come to Mexico to learn Spanish for one month, it will be really cool because they can have the academic experience, of course, by learning Spanish, but also the tourist experience of uh, experiencing here Can Cancun and our destination. Uh, for the case of students who are um, enrolled to the university, we also offer uh, language courses and they are free to take it. And this is included on their, on their study plan. They don't have to pay an, an extra for language courses. All right. Thank you so much, Christian. So basically, uh, I'll just go back to the uh, opportunities that you've mentioned earlier regarding the, that they can uh, choose their own schedule. So if you were, if you were able to get a job, uh, either part-time or full-time, uh, it means that you can uh, uh, choose which uh, schedule you want to uh, take, especially with your uh, classes. Right. So let's say you were able right. to get a job offer. You already have the work visa. Uh, you are uh, your schedule with your work is morning. Then you can uh, study in the evening. All Usually right? the classes for the first semesters are in the morning. But uh, there are also available classes in the evening. Not all, all the right. classes are available all day. You have to look at the availability of each class. 
okay. uh, to create a schedule. But there's this, this flexibility which allows students to do this. For example, in my experience, I can tell you, I, I used to be a, a pro athlete here in, in, uh, in Mexico, and I had to train twice a day. So I didn't have classes from 7 to 10 in the morning where I had to train, when I had to train. And after that, I started my lessons from 10.30 to 2 p.m. to 2 p.m. Later, I went to train. Later, I had to go to train. And in the evenings from 7 to 8.30 in, in the evening, I had another class. So there's this uh, flexibility, but you have to look at, uh, at every at every mm -hmm. class, at every yeah. subject, and look at their availability. All right, that's perfect. Um, the tagline of the university is actually study in paradise. Uh, if you were able to, uh, uh, I mean, if you really want to uh, study in Mexico, you were able to experience, uh, Christian mentioned that uh, they receive more than 25 million uh, tourists uh in Cancun it means that a lot of opportunities for Filipino students especially looking for a job uh because uh it is one of the destination that uh tourists is really looking forward to go to all right so i yes, think it's the uh, number one destination in one number one tourist destination in latin america we're very proud to say it and um, i mean the the most the 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 biggest industry here is of course hospitality, but we also have a medical industry growing, uh, growing a lot. We have a lot of retail companies, marketing companies, etc. Here in yeah, in Cancun. Uh, the best thing that they uh can offer for the students is uh uh they uh do have a lot of international uh partners uh that can guarantee that you can have a job before or after uh, graduating. All right. So thank you so right. much, guys, for uh, attending our webinar. Uh, again, for those who are interested in proceeding with your application, please do not hesitate to contact Anacon team. We are very uh, much uh, willing to help you with your application and getting this uh, scholarship and discount only exclusive uh, for from Anikon. All right, so Christian, do you have anything to before we end? Sorry? I just want no. to thank you and Anikon team for this time, for this uh, time to share the Mexican, ex the Mexican experience. And uh, we would love to receive some Filipino students really soon. Of course. Uh, John, you're uh, saying something, sorry. And agree po ng si Sir Mark. Baka may question po. Any uh, other questions pa? Alright. That's it. This is not going to be our last webinar, Christian. This is only the first and uh, we still have a lot of uh, upcoming webinars. I'll let you know with uh, our next schedule. We will That's be... Uh, looking the best uh, options or time so that we can also gather more students with our webinar. But again, I really, really, really appreciate your uh, time today. And we're looking forward to our future students. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Have a great uh, day. Christian. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.